คุณมาจากไหนคุณมาจากไหน Where are you from Where are you คุณมาจากไหนคุณมาจากไหนครับ Where are you from Where are you from คุณมาจากไหนคุณมาจากไหนใช่ There sort of <laughs> Twenty-second in Thailand, Thailand Rob. Today is a special event day. Today we're going to Phuket Town, which is a, a little ways drive from Kamala, through the curvy mountainy roads, and it's an adventure to to buy a motorcycle. No, I'm not buying a motorcycle. At least not yet. There's an American here from California, and he's a subscriber of mine, and he. Uh, has decided like me that he kind of likes it here, so he's trying to set up a camp, trying to set up his base camp, and he wants to get a he wants to get a big motorcycle though, not a little one. Today he's gonna go check out a I think a used one is what he told me. We'll see, and we get to ride with Nisha. Now I gotta remember where Nisha lives. This is Mike. The guy that's getting the motorcycle, or the guy that's checking out the motorcycle. Hello. You actually did sort of like me. You got here, and you're actually thinking about you're actually thinking about staying here, right? Yes. Yeah. Nisha, could you get closer to the to the steering wheel? Can you get the seat to go up any further? I'm asking Nisha. I said, Nisha, what are these? And she's like, Oh, that's if you have food and you have a plastic bag, you can hang it from here. Is it one, two, non song sam fi? Oh, what happened to this one? What is this? This one's different. Oh, that's for a bottle. Where's my Coke? That's it. The Kawasaki. Super bikes. This is mine. <laughs> I already found mine. Rung would like that because it's oh, that's what Rung has. Is right, my friend Rung. <laughs> This is what she has. So the Batmobile that I want here is 150,000 baht, which is a little over 4,000 US dollars. It's you, man. <laughs> you like it? Oh, the bike's awesome. It's, even the rims, you know, with the blue around the rims. <laughs> well, I buy this, I'm gonna start buying parts where I know, like, I'm exhausted. Really? <laughs> but this looks good on you, huh? That is a, that's, I do, it's a nice bike. Look at the size of this bike. This is a monster. Mike says this is the first time he's getting your first time you're getting a street bike, right? Yeah. And I've had street bikes my whole life. I shouldn't be hanging out with him because <laughs> you guys remember the first time you ever bought a motorcycle? It was so much fun. <laughs> we just left a dealership for the motorbikes and I was asking Nisha. From what I gather is like in the States when you buy a car or a motorcycle, you kinda haggle and try to get it for a cheaper price. But if you go to the store and buy a t-shirt, you can't haggle. In Thailand, it's completely backwards. You can haggle for all the clothing that you want, but when you go to the motorbike or buy a car, from what I gather, there's no haggling to be done. It's just the price and whatever special they might be having. So, kind of backwards. 
are different, opposite, opposite, that's a good word. And somehow, the next stop is shoes. Mm-hmm. Now we're actually just coming here to Central Festival Mall to get some lunch. We're all starving. We're thinking about the gangster menu. I have no idea what we're doing. Three D. Three D. Oh, getting big. Oh, it's getting big. <laughs> Ooh. It's tea, not water, so don't don't think it's dirty. We're getting a smorgasbord here. Chili and garlic. So they don't have the kind where you grill it too, huh? Just this? Just this. Oh. I like to make the corn. We also get the noodles. The fish? Chicken. Uh, no, it's no chill. No scallops? No, yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. Just jump it all in. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I just inhaled a chili. Oh, at least I got my voice back. Oh, I lost my voice for like two minutes. Now he's checking out a used motorbike over here to see if he's about half price of a new motorbike. I could just stick with a little click, but be fine with me. Oh. When we were looking at the used bike, he found that it had been dropped before and that the front shock was leaking on it, so he's not interested in that. But what we did find out that I did not know is if you want to purchase a motorcycle uh, in Thailand, it de a lot depends on where you're staying. So, it, what, here's what I mean: when you go to immigration to get the paperwork signed off that you're allowed to buy physical property in Thailand, you have to have a copy of your passport. You have to have a copy of your uh, departure card. You have to have a copy of where you're staying, the lease of where you're staying, the landlord's copy of their ID card, you have to have a copy of the deed of the landlord's property. I mean, you have to have a lot of copies of a lot of pieces of paper just in order to get to the next step. Speaking of next step, that was quick. But the, um, let's look at that again. So the next step would be, once you get that paperwork figured out, then you would actually go and take it to the immigration and then they give you the stamp or whatever that you can buy property. So anyway, and I'm out of breath now because I almost got killed by a tuk, I mean a song, almost got killed by a song tao. I'll talk to you guys later. After I got back from my trip to Bangkok, Mike had actually finally picked the bike and he picked the blue one. Which he was just telling me. It's a special edition one? <laughs> yeah. So, so the blue. I don't think it's not even offered in the States, this color. If this bike color is offered in the United States, someone put it in the comments because we don't know. We're over here. But this is cool. I mean, even look at the rims. I mean, this. I liked. When we went to the shop that day, I liked this bike, but. Oh, I got the blue one. <laughs> Can you take this asshole back to America, please?
Goody goody. Don't Go forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. 